Amen. Number one. Turn to Matthew chapter 16. I want to go here first because I want to lay a foundation. And I'm going to move on. And I'm going to try to be done. Amen. In about 15 minutes. Praise God. I know my mic is active up. Hallelujah. Chapter 16. And then we're going to look at verse 13. Praise the Lord. Chapter 16 of the Gospel of Matthew, verse 13. Praise the name of God. I want to start at the uh, B clause, which says in verse 13, his, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am, uh, that I the Son of Man am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said to him, blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, doing of his word. I simply want to use for a title, and I'll bring back the glory series, This Is Who I Am. Somebody say, This Is Who I Am. This is who I am. Say it again. This is who I am. This is who I am. Uh, this is who I am. This is who I am. Uh, many times you don't realize who you are in Christ because you don't know who he is. Yeah, yeah, I gotta lay a foundation before I set the house in order uh, because we have to go to Haggai. But here he tells us he's talking, and Jesus is talking to Peter. Jesus is asking him a question. Jesus is saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And so they begin to answer him, give him the answer to the question that he asks. But then he posed another question. He says, Who do you say that I am? Uh, what would happen if Jesus was to be here right now and he was to pose that question to you? What would your answer be if he asked you, who do you say he is? But Simon had uh, uh, enough sense to say that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then Jesus says unto him that flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you. Nobody told you this. You didn't just go to church on Sunday morning and somebody preached it to you, but you know because God revealed it unto you. But this is what I want you to do. It says that you are Peter. And that word Peter in the Greek means rock. He said you are Peter. You are a rock. And he said and on this rock I will build my church. Somebody say my church. Uh, he's talking about his church. What is he talking about? Is he talking about a building? What is he, what is he saying when he says I'm going to build my church? What are you talking about Jesus? How many know that that word church means ecclesia? That word church means called out ones. Ones that were called out of darkness. That word also means an assembly of people. And so when he's talking about his church, he's not talking about a building. He's not talking about in these four walls. But he is talking about you and I. My brothers and my sisters, Jesus is simply saying to us that he will be us up upon a rock. And when you realize who he is, then you will know who you are and what your assignment is. You must realize that Jesus is the rock. He is our foundation. He is what we stand and are built upon. It is him. And he said that the gates of hell will not prevail against him. He said that I'm getting ready to build you up. The church, the and he said that nothing will be able to come against him. And be a shake and have a show. And these two years have been hell and high water. The enemy has tried to come through the front door and through the back door. He's trying to come through the window. Come on, 
And he said, and not even hell has anything to say about it. Glory to God. See, Brother Larry, when you got up here and sung, he was able. Uh, that's my soul too. Because out of all I've been through this week and last week, I needed to hear that he was able. See, you just answered the question that Jesus posed. You answered, who do you say he is? And you said that he's able. Come on, Baba, shut it up. Because flesh and blood. 